That fire comes on the heels of an excessive heat warning that is in effect right now and will stay active through the Labor Day weekend, not ending until Monday. It's just one of several extreme weather events impacting people around the world. From this oppressive heat to floods and wildfires, CBS 8's Shannon Handy spoke with a Scripps researcher today who believes they are all signs of what's to come. From the coast to our deserts, this heat wave covers our entire region and it's going to last several days. Now, while that may seem unusual, the researcher I interviewed said this as well as other severe weather events are becoming the norm due to climate change. Video captured in Pakistan this week shows flooding so severe the only way out for some is by air. Others have turned to more creative solutions like this rescue operation using a bed frame tied to a zip line. Mashallah, mashallah. Earlier this summer, Yellowstone National Park was ravaged by flood water. In Europe, the continent has experienced record breaking heat, killing thousands. In China, the world's third longest river is drying up, revealing ancient statues. That's in addition to wildfires, which in California are now burning year round. Temperatures are clearly warming all over the globe. Alexander Gershinov is a research meteorologist at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. He studies extreme weather events and how they relate to our changing climate, saying there's no question the two are directly linked. Take this heat wave San Diegans are currently sweltering in, for example. Gershinov says it's climate change in action and a sign of what's to come. You know, these large heat waves occur from time to time, but gradually they're becoming hotter, longer lasting, more frequent, and also more humid. According to Gershinov, of all the extreme weather events, heat waves are most directly related to a warming climate and the most deadly. As for rainstorms, while they're becoming less frequent, hence our ongoing drought, Gershinov says when they do happen, they're more extreme. Because in the warmer atmosphere, there's just simply a larger ability to hold moisture. More moisture in the atmosphere means that more of it falls out. That means more communities, including in San Diego, are at greater risk for flooding. Not only that, but melting glaciers and warmer temperatures, which cause water to expand, have led to sea levels rising. Rising sea levels mean that there's more coastal erosion, beach erosion, cliff erosion, and all the problems that go along with that.